Martin, you're very well known as a composer in South Australia, but not necessarily of electronic music. The Moog is just a new toy you've got hold of? Reasonably well. Uh, reasonably new, yes. I've had it for about 18 months. But it's very hard to progress on the synthesizer. You have to, to take a lot of time to find the sounds you want and put them together. But I've completed a, a major piece on it, and I've started on the second one. You must have an infinite range of sound one can produce on such equipment. Yes, any, any sound at all. Theoretically, any sound you like can be produced. How does one put down one's ideas once you've composed a piece? Do you put each sound down on tape? Uh, yes, everything's done on two tape recorders. We put sound on one tape recorder, then transfer it to the other with another sound which is added to it. Then the whole thing can be filtered and speeded up or slowed down. All kinds of variation can be got with it. But most of the work is done on tape recorders, but the, s the sounds themselves come from the synthesizer. You've written an opera called Pie in the Sky. Now, this is a children's opera. Can you tell me something about that? Yes. Uh, we just finished a performance of it. Uh, scored for about 52 characters. All the numbers, all the characters in the show are numbers from 0 to 50, with the highest number being the king and the lowest number being the lowest of the low, the slave, the whole thing. Uh, the whole thing basically uh, comes about that the digits, who are the slaves, want to overthrow the king and instill a vast social democracy. Do you work full-time as a composer in South Australia? At the moment I am, yeah. I haven't got any other job. But you are going to York University to do your doctorate there? Yes, I'm leaving in September for three years to do a doctorate in music composition, specialising in electronic music and music for children. What is so fascinating about electronic music? Uh, I think the main thing is that you can decide exactly yourself how it's going to sound. You don't have to re rely on a performance from someone else, which could be a bad performance or could be going too slow or too fast, uh, and the composer is sitting there uh, biting his fingernails, wishing the conductor would take it faster, and so on and so forth. With electronic music, you put it on tape and everything is fixed and I can spend hours just getting it exactly right. And from then on, it doesn't change. It's there all the time.